Heaven is watching. Stop worrying. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím navštivte suprememastertv.com lomitko schedule. This is life in an African wild dog family. Endless mouths to feed and a gaggle of teenagers to control. Two parents must keep everyone safe in an unforgiving wilderness. Amazing wildlife documentaries by Kim Woolhutter, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. If you have the pleasure of visiting Zimbabwe, you may be asked, Makadi, that how are you in Shona, one of the many beautiful languages spoken by the locals. Adventure loving viewers, I am Onyas. The people of Zimbabwe send you warmest greetings as we thank you for your noble endeavors. Our world has become a much better place because of you. We are delighted to have you join us for part one of the two-part series entitled Amazing Wildlife Documentaries by Kim Wolhutter. Today, May 22nd, has been sanctioned by the United Nations as the International Day for Biological Diversity to increase understanding and awareness of biodiversity issues. In celebration, we present amazing wildlife films made by renowned cinematographer Kim Wolhutter. Acclaimed wildlife filmmaker and photographer Kim Wolhutter was born in South Africa. He was brought up in the famous Kroger National Park where his grandfather was the very first park ranger and his father the head ranger. As a boy, he was shy and always felt safe close to the bush. He even wanted to live with the bushmen. While studying for a degree on grassland science, Kim had a chance to work with Ted Riley in Eswatini, then named Swaziland, during the university holidays. He described Ted Riley as a man whose bush knowledge is on par with a bushman and every animal is cared for long before himself. Kim learned a lot from Ted and gained invaluable practical bush experience. Having never thought of filming as a career, Kim spent a few years working as the warden of Malawula Nature Reserve. One day, his former schoolmate filmmaker Richard Ghost called and asked if he would like to go on a filming expedition. Saying yes turned out to be a great decision and Kim worked with Richard for six years. Afterwards, he started his own company, Marvela Media, to film and photograph wildlife. Kim Wolhuder has now been filming for more than 30 years in the most intimate and realistic of ways. Since 1988, he has made wildlife documentaries for National Geographic, BBC, Discovery Channel, an animal planet, winning numerous awards and nominations. What has made his film so unparalleled is the length of time he takes, at least two years on a production, developing a very intimate relationship with the wild animals that he is filming, such as leopards, hyenas, cheetahs, and African wild dogs. Through this bond and acceptance, Kim is able to not only document the animals' lives up close and personal, but also help people engage more with our animals' friends when they see how Kim interacts and plays with them just like friends. In the earlier years of filmmaking, Kim focused more on animal behavior in general. Then, in the 2001 documentary, Stalking Leopards, he followed a big male leopard named Chololo in Malamala Game Reserve for about 18 months, 
telling us the fascinating story about how Chololo grows up from a young boy into his adulthood, keeping his territory totally under control. What draws me to these animals is their absolute power, grace and their real beauties. And the, the fact that they inhabit a world that's very, very difficult to penetrate. But if you can work your way into it as an observer, you have a chance to see amazing things. Extremely solitary and secretive, it is a huge challenge to get into the world of a leopard. Kim feels it is a real honor to be accepted by Chololo, whose enthralling story is on the cover of National Geographic. Malamala Mala Game Reserve lies in northeastern South Africa, 35,000 acres perfectly suited to leopards. Etched by gullies and ravines, the landscape is blanketed in thick bush, punctuated by patches of open grassland. This rich array of cover, forage, and water supports a huge variety of animals. The bush is one big neighborhood. Each inhabitant knows everyone else, the same as we know our own neighbors. And they recognize one another individually, no matter where they meet. Walter understands these animals and this landscape well. Like his father and grandfather before him, he was once a park ranger until he took up the camera. Wallader has made several award-winning films, including one on a female leopard in Mala Mala. This amazing film, Stalking Leopards, won several awards, including an Emmy Award. Kim Wolhüde never starts a film with a storyline, but rather prefers to build a close relationship with the animals and then tells their story in a more intimate and captivating way. In the 2018 film Dogs in the Land of Lions, he introduces us to a beautiful African wild dog and a heroic mother named Puzzles. When he first meets Puzzles and her mate Jigso in Malilangwe Wildlife Reserve, they are the only survivors of a rabies epidemic. Without any other pack members to help, they must raise their 12 babies alone. With Puzzles staying in the cave nursing the little ones and Jigso going out to bring food home. After three months, when puzzles can go out again to feed the family, Jigsaw will stay with the young pups, guiding them and teaching them how to survive in the wild. This is life in an African wild dog family. Endless mouths to feed and a gaggle of teenagers to control. Two parents must keep everyone safe in an unforgiving wilderness. Puzzles and Jigsaw are extraordinary parents and always let the children eat first. It's almost unheard of for a single pair to have raised a litter to this age. Now they are a young pack and Puzzles gives birth to the second litter a year later. However, even before the new babies can leave the den, Jigsaw and another female lose their lives. We can see how closely bonded these lovely dogs are and the film tells how individuals will sacrifice almost anything for their pack, a behavior wired into their DNA. The young adults selflessly give their meal to puzzles while she can't leave the den. They are also excited to meet and play with their tiny new siblings. The courageous mother not only finds a safer home for her babies, but she also single-handedly brings them up into a thriving pack. It is so beautiful to see Puzzles finally able to take all her children out for a round, and her contribution to the endangered species is invaluable. You know, 
you realize with these animals how closely knit they are and how social they are when you see one of them being killed and there was that one that was run over on the road and the whole pack you know they were around there sniffing and trying to understand they were mesmerized as to why this dog had died usually there would be a smell of a predator or something there and here was just a hit and run they had no idea and then the calling they do that ooh, ooh, and it's so mournful it's the most oh it's the most saddening sound to hear from them and you definitely can feel it they've lost the mate and and they do know it Kim followed puzzles for four years and watched as her daughter Dakota left to form her own family in the third year Dakota comes back with her children to visit puzzles carrying on her mother's legacy our sincere gratitude Kim Wolhuter for your work with and for Earth's magnificent animals. May we cherish and protect all lives so that all beings may flourish in peace and abundance. For more information on Kim Wolhuder, please visit kimwolhuder.com. Noble viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company today. Join us again on Friday May 28th for part 2 of Amazing Wildlife Documentaries by Kim Wolhuter. Coming up next is Magical Power is Never Enough to Protect You, part 2 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. May all earthlings thrive in the peace and joy of God's love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash cs. Be vegan, repentant, save your soul.